Okay, I'm going to do a little review of the uh, Load Pro leads I got for Christmas. Okay, let me show you what I got here. Um, hold on a second, let me uh, got some toys around the kids playing. Okay. Okay, here are the here are the leads I got for Christmas. It's just basically a, a set of leads that you plug into your meter. I have them plugged into my meter. Okay. When I bought this, I bought this actually used off of eBay, uh, and uh, came with uh, these leads and this book. And so far, I, I really like this book. It's a it's a good book. Uh, tells you a lot of useful information. Good stuff. Now I'm I'm not affiliated with this with this or this I just a tool I happen to ha happen to get for uh, Christmas and I and uh, I like a lot of tools I mean I, I own tons of fluke meters and ammeters and oscilloscopes and uh, power probe kit I mean I, I like tools and I'm just giving an unbiased review of this tool I think it's pretty nifty basically from what I can tell these leads they basically have a load built into them when you push the button let me see like let me put it on ohms when I push this button you can see about 20 so there's about a 25 ohm load inside inside I think it's in here probably probably a 25 ohm resistor I don't know what wattage is it wattage it is or whatever but now you're asking like what what does that do well well from what I can tell this enhances the voltmeter by when you check open circuit voltage which really with the regular voltmeter you should never do because it'll lie to you if there's any resistance in the line it won't it won't tell you it'll show you know battery voltage and kind of lie to you that's why they tell you never to you know always use your voltmeter when it's back probed or you know when the circuit is flowing so that you get an accurate reading Anytime you open the circuit and read open circuit with a voltmeter, it's an invalid test. What this does is you open the circuit, touch it, and push the button, and that forces current flow so you can get an accurate reading. Uh, at least that's what I can tell. But uh, let me show you what I got here. I've got a battery, some jumper leads, and I got a variable resistor here, a big rear big uh, big rheostat potentiometer thing and uh, this is 0 to 20 ohms resistor I can vary it so I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a circuit and we're gonna do some voltage drop readings and uh, I'm gonna throw some hidden resistance in the line you're gonna see how valuable this tool is okay let me get a let me get started now you might ask yourself like okay a regular voltmeter does that too as long as you can as long as you can th this acts this is a regular voltmeter this only loads the circuit when you push the button so really this is for for those times when you can't access maybe you can't access you can't do a live test what comes to mind for me is like when you're checking like tail lights on cars or something you got to you know pull the bulb out can't really get to the back of the connector I mean that's just an example there's, there's probably a lot more but I mean th this meter works just like a regular meter but for those times when you have to open the circuit you can you got this button here to to do open circuit checks and doesn't lie to you so that's why I think this tool is pretty valuable but let me show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna zoom in a little Got my battery here. I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to hook this up. 
basically it to here and here so that when I now this is just something I built myself uh, this is my load tester but I'm, I'm using this resistor here because when I move this wiper you know there's continuity but I mean it goes through here through here depending on where I have this this increases the resistance so I'm just using this as a variable resistor to do a test all right let me show you okay I'm gonna I'm gonna hook this up first okay I'm gonna take take my my ground lead and I'm gonna hook this up to here okay and just leave that there and I'm gonna hook let me back this let me back this up so you guys can see it okay okay I don't know why this light keeps turning off stupid light but uh okay so got my load pro leads let me let me redo this just to so you guys get a good all this is is a jumper wire okay so I got I got my leads here get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing okay I'm gonna hook this up to to, to here and this is gonna go through the resistor you'll see okay so I got that hooked up I'm gonna hook this up to this post here okay now I'm gonna hook up my battery this is a 12 volt battery um, this on volts I don't know if we can see that or not but okay so this would be an example of an open circuit stupid light this would be an example of an open circuit I got my you know my leads hooked to this one a negative and there's a positive here well there's 12.8 volts here and when I load it, I got 12.4, 12.3. So what does that mean? Open, so you could take open circuit, 12.7, load it, 12.5. Well, what does that mean? Well, that, that means the circuit's good. There's very little resistance. If you take a calculator and you go 12, what did I say the open circuit was? 12.7 and then when I load it 12.7 I load it 12.5 okay so 12.5 divided by 12.7 equals that's about that's telling me that 98% of this voltage is going to the is dropping across this load that tells me this wiring is good I'm going to crank up some resistance and you'll see that it's going to cause this to be a different voltage drop. Okay. Crank it up a little bit. Okay. Now, once again, remember I now you can see there's resistance in this line. But remember open circuit open circuit, I'm going to touch that. It doesn't show it cuz it's open. It's reading 12.76. That's battery source voltage. This is now. Now see if, if if you were testing this on a car and you, that's why you don't ever disconnect the load because the meter will lie to you. This meter is lying to me right now. It's not showing me this resistance here. I would say, oh, okay, my my wiring is good. I got. I'm reading 12.7 volts. Well, not really, because when I load the circuit. It dropped down to 11.6. 12.7. Load it. 11.6. So let's see how much did I? How much am I losing there? 11.6 divided by 12.6 equals. I mean that's that's still pretty good percentage, but it's it's not passable really. You don't want really more than 
I mean, 3% to 5% max. That means I'm, I'm dropping voltage somewhere else in my circuit and not across my load. So I have unwanted resistance in this, in this circuit. And you can tell by doing simple math. Let me turn it up a little more, a little more resistance. You'll see a big drop probably now. But there's resistance in that line. But if I, if I open up the circuit and I read it, I'm not going to see anything. 12.7, 12 .12 that's telling me I got good battery voltage. But really, there's resistance in this line. So when I, when I load the circuit, I'm reading 10.3. Okay, so how much am I missing? I got 10.3 divided by 12.7. I've only got I've only got 80% voltage drop across this load. That means I'm missing like 20 something percent. I mean I'm sorry like 19 something, 18 something, but in a normal healthy circuit you can have up to, you know, you don't want to see anything more than really like a half a volt being wasted on your on just your wires. Uh anytime, I mean you're going to have some wastage on wires, but you want it to be minimal. You don't want your you don't want any unwanted voltage drop in your wiring. And that's what this tool can do. It, it tests it. Uh, so I hope I'm, hope I'm making sense. <laughs> but as you can see, um, this is a cool tool, you know. You can load open circuit voltage, which is what you should never use a regular meter to do, check open circuit voltage, because it, it's it's lying to me. It's telling me I've got oh a good 12 7 volts, but in reality I have unwanted resistance. So when I throw that switch, you'll see the voltage drop. Okay. Okay. Let me add a little more resistance. Do one more test. Okay. So I got my got my uh, telling me it's good 12 7, which it's not because I have resistance in the in the wiring. I do my test. I've got 9.2 volts. Okay, so if I take a calculator, I got 9.2 volts divided by 12.7. Well, hey, I've only got 72% of my available voltage at, at my load here, which tells me I have, uh, you know, uh, about 28% being eaten up in the wiring which is way too much. That's what I like about this tool. Your your volt drop, what well, your meter reads, and you divide that by your source voltage or static voltage. So you got you take basically dynamic voltage divided by static voltage and you look at the percentage and if it's, you know, you don't want any more than you know, 3 to 5% max being eaten up by your wiring and I'd say it's better to be around, you know, 3% or less, but, uh, anyway, hope that makes sense. I think it, I think it's a great tool. I recommend it to anybody. And I think this is a great book too. I, I like it. And well, that's it.